Well, your state tax refund may take longer to get to you than in past years due to changes in the way those refunds are now being processed. Yeah, you recognize this, Russ. I saw it right away. Yep. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia looks uh, is getting answers about what's happening. Hey, this year, you know, we have a longer uh, time to file, so it's a longer tax season. And there's just a lot of scams out there in general already. Which prompted the State Department of Revenue to put this notice on its webpage, which says, due to enhanced ID theft protection measures, some refunds may take longer than normal, which is six weeks for electronically filed returns and 12 weeks for paper returns. It's an unfortunate situation for, uh, you know, someone that's in need of that, in need of that money. There is, there's, a lot, there's a lot of people out there that are really suffering. I wanted to know more about these enhanced measures and why they would be causing delays, but the Department of Revenue didn't respond to my email. If that is what the state thinks is the best case scenario right now in order like, to protect our own money, then I, I could see where that's coming from. But I think with COVID happening, it's probably the most inconvenient time for a lot of people to have their refunds withheld. I wanted to know what kind of scams are out there this year, so I sought out a cybersecurity expert from Trusted SEC. With new tax laws, uh, it's much easier to trick people. Because people aren't always sure, you know, what the law is, what the rules are. Criminals are trying to beat you to the punch by filing in your name before you do. They'll also infect your computer using a tax return scheme to extort you. If they're using ransomware and they're threatening to send fake tax documents or, or file fake taxes with the IRS and get you in trouble, if you don't pay them. Despite the fact criminals are using cyberspace to scam you, the internet is still your best option for filing. Is electronic filing the safest way to do it? So there's always debate. Um, you know, so in general, uh, you know, electronic filing has proven to be very safe, you know, for the person that's actually filing. There are scores of tax season scams out there, and to help protect you, I've included a link in today's story listing many of them. That link will also tell you ways to avoid them. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.